a master of fish, William Merrick Chase is still life. William Merrick Chase, 1849-1916, was an American painter who was known for his portraits, landscapes, and still lifes. He was a leading figure of the American Impressionist movement and an influential teacher of many other artists. He traveled extensively in Europe and was exposed to various styles and influences. One of his favorite subjects was fish, which he painted in many large-scale still lifes, usually during his summer teaching trips to Europe. He began this series in 1904 and continued until his death in 1916. He painted fish of different kinds and sizes, such as bass, salmon, mackerel, and flounder. He used the bravura brushwork and dark palette of his early Munich period, which he learned from studying under the German painter Alexander von Wagner. He also showed the influence of his contemporary, the French artist Antoine Vollen, and of the 17th century Spanish still lifes that Vollen also appreciated. Vollen was famous for his realistic and expressive paintings of food, especially cheese and fish. One of Chase's most impressive paintings of fish is Still Life, Fish, which was created in 1908 and is currently on view at the Met Fifth Avenue in Gallery 774. The painting shows a tabletop with a plate containing a striped bass and a salmon, a weak fish lies directly on the table and a bowl appears in the background. The painting is rich in color, texture, and detail, creating a realistic and appetizing representation of the fish. The painting also demonstrates Chase's mastery of light and shadow, which he used to create contrast and depth in the composition. Chase's goal seems to have been to make what he called, an uninteresting subject so inviting and entertaining by means of fine technique that people will be charmed at the way you've done it. He succeeded in capturing the beauty and freshness of the fish, as well as their shape and movement. He also added a touch of humor and irony, as the fish seemed to be staring at the viewer with their glassy eyes, as if challenging them to eat them. Writing in The New Republic in March 1917, the American connoisseur and collector Leo Stein commented on Chase's still life paintings of fish, of all non-sentimental still life. They are with their bulging mass and sweeping line the most expressive. Chase seems to take a saturated satisfaction in the swell and swing of the thick soft-bodied fish. They give far more result at a lesser price of organization than groups of smaller or less expressively shaped objects. Still Life, Fish by William Merrick Chase is a remarkable example of Chase's artistry and creativity. It is a painting that invites the viewer to enjoy the beauty and abundance of nature, while also making them admire and appreciate the skill and technique of the artist. It is a painting that showcases the talent and originality of one of the masters of American still life painting.